And tragedy along the Clinton River. A man dies trying to save a little boy from drowning. The man was walking with his friend and her son when the boy fell into the water. That 24-year-old immediately jumped into the river. It was along the boardwalk near Gratiot and North River Road. Coco McAboy is there live now. Coco, sadly, I know the man went into the water and he just never resurfaced. Yes, Stephen Priya, this is a very tragic story. This is the area where it happened. The three-year-old boy fell into the water. The 24-year-old man tried to save him but couldn't. So a fisherman jumped in to help and save the little boy. Both that 24-year-old and the fisherman are heroes tonight, but that 24-year-old man did not survive. I saw the ambulances and fire trucks and stuff. Linda Fletcher heard and saw what happened this afternoon from her balcony. It was very upsetting. Cell phone video shows the scene after the tragic accident at the Clinton River. Authorities say a 24 year old man, a woman and her three year old son were walking along the boardwalk when the child slipped and fell into the water. The 24 year old gentleman jumped in the water after the child. Uh, unfortunately, he did not resurface. A fisherman and a group of people did what they could to help. That fisherman jumped in and was able to pull the child out of the water, but it was unable to locate the, the other gentleman. The 24-year-old was pulled from the water after what authorities call a lengthy amount of time. He was later pronounced dead. The three-year-old boy survived, and Fletcher is glad the fisherman stepped in to help. That's very brave because that water, you know, that, that water goes fast. But she says it's time the boardwalk gets repaired. It just has that little railing, and kids are leaning over that all the time. She's hoping something will be done soon to prevent another tragedy like the one she witnessed today. I feel so bad for the family. You know, I, I don't want to see that anymore. And the 24-year-old man is not being identified until his family has been notified. Reporting live this evening, I'm Coco McAvoy, Local 4, back to you. Coco, do police know if maybe it was the cold temperature of the water or the man didn't swim? Do they know what happened here? Right, Steve. So they think that that did play a role. Some witnesses saying that they also heard that the man couldn't swim, but authorities also say that this water, though it looks calm, the current is very fast. It's very strong. And they say the river has also received a lot of water, so it's higher than usual. And they think all of those things contributed to this tragedy. Oh, well, he's a hero, no doubt about that, trying to save that little child. Thank you, Coco.